smooth you up a little bit what's up you guys it's me welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought that it would be interesting to do a book haul if you've been watching my vlogs over the past couple of weeks even months i would say i keep referring to my bookshelf that i have in my living room and i have a whole section in my bookshelf of self-improvement and finance books and i keep referencing it in my videos but i don't actually ever go into detail so i figured today i would show you guys all of my personal finance self-help productivity and improvement book that I currently possess that I want to share with you guys going into the new year for 2024. I have literally been so oblivious to the fact that we literally have three months left of 2023 and it's time to get our shit together, babe. Okay, it's time to get our shit together. I moved into this apartment in January of this year. So much of my personal life, my finances, just my overall growth and involvement as a person has definitely shown. And a little bit about me, I grew up hating reading. I still really don't like reading. I literally only read one book in school and it was The Giver because that was a bomb ass book. And when they made it into a movie, I actually was one of those people that were like, the book is so much better. Me reads a book one time, but the book is so much better than the movie. I really didn't get an interest to start getting into books until I started discovering the self-help and finance genre of books. And I have really taken a liking to buying a bunch of self-help, self-improvement finance books. And I just have been too lazy, too unmotivated, too undisciplined to start reading these books. So I figured by pulling all these out, reminding myself what books I do have, showing you guys any books that you might want to grab for the end of 2023, beginning of your 2024, to spice up your life, to level up, then I'll show you guys all the ones that I currently have. I really am trying to improve in any way possible when it comes to my productivity and my finances. It's something that I really do struggle with and I always have. Um, I've definitely gotten a lot better with my finances as time has progressed and especially within these nine months of living alone I've definitely improved significantly with my finances and my budgeting skills um, but productivity is something that I've always struggled with forever ever since I've opened my eyes into this world and it's something that I still struggle with today so hopefully this haul will re-inspire me to get my shit together start reading my books and applying them to my daily life and we'll let you guys see any books that you might want to get that you haven't thought of getting yet so starting out with number one this is actually the only book that i have in this whole pile that i'm currently reading and i'm almost finished you guys i'm like so excited i know this is like a small little win but for me it's really big okay so let me have my moment this is rich dad poor dad definitely get the bigger printed version i think the original copies of this are like literally half the size of this book and i can not read it it hurts my eyes i as you can see from the books i'm about to show you and if you guys have watched my vlogs and you've seen my bookshelf i'm a physical copy type of hoe my dad really really loves audiobooks and he keeps trying to convince me to listen to my books but i just literally can't i have to physically pick up a book and read it in order to force myself to read if i use an audiobook i will literally fall asleep so i do recommend getting the bigger copy of this this is rich dad poor dad a finance classic might i add among many people it is by robert t kiyosaki i you guys i know this is like like bitch are you really serious right now but guys i am on chapter six this is the summary for chapter five and i'm going to read chapter six today it just goes over and teaches you a lot of things that most people do not teach you in school i remember when i was in school i literally only had one class about finances and it was my senior year and the only thing i remember from that class is watching a bernie madoff documentary and that's about it so this really teaches you the things that i did not learn in school or that i didn't retain or remember and i am learning a lot i actually do this thing where i just highlight anything that I think is really important that he's talking about. I really am one of the worst readers of all time. So to finish a book like cover to cover is really, really exciting for me. I am more than halfway through this book and I'm excited to read more. Going into the same vein as Robert Kiyosaki books, this is the second one. This is the Rich Dad's Cash Flow Quadrant. He does mention the Cash Flow Quadrant in Rich Dad Poor Dad a couple of different times and gives a little bit of examples, but this is the full book regarding that. He talks about the Cash Flow Quadrant Guide to Financial Freedom. He talks about what each of the quadrants quadrants mean and how you can apply them to your life. Obviously, I don't know that much about it because I haven't read it, but I am excited to read this. Next book we have right here, I think Graham Stephan actually recommended me this. Um, I was watching a video and he was talking about different books. I've been watching Graham Stephan for a minute. Believe it or not, my dad actually put me onto Graham Stephan. So I started uh, watching him a couple of years ago, I think probably around 2020, 2021 when I was graduating college. That's when I really started getting into finance and saving. And he recommended Think and Grow 
Rich by Napoleon Hill. It says on the back that every chapter of this book mentions the money-making secret that has made fortunes for more than 500 exceedingly wealthy people whom I have carefully analyzed over a long period of years. I haven't even opened this book yet, but from what I'm reading, this is actually in a format that is perfect for me, for people who hate reading. This is like numbered, big text, easy to read, easy to follow. I love books like that. I think that this is going to help me on the financial front a lot more. So I am excited to read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Next book, I don't think this was recommended to me by anybody. I just randomly went into Barnes & Noble one day a couple years ago and saw this. And honestly, I'm a sucker for covers. It's called Broke Millennial, Stop Scraping By and Get Your Financial Life Together, which honestly, Back when I was uh, buying these financial books, I was scraping by and I was not having my life together. I am not technically a millennial. It's all in the same category. A lot of millennials are struggling with money right now, statistically speaking. And also this is another book that seems like it's easy to read format. That's gonna be a theme here, if you guys can tell. I, like I said, do not like reading. So anything that becomes easier to read, like anything with bullet points, I'm a fan. So I'm excited to read this. This definitely isn't at the top of my list just because I have a lot of books that were recommended through like YouTube or through my dad or through other people that I want to read first. But I definitely am not going to skip out on this Broke Millennial book. Next thing, I actually did not hear about this until after I bought it. This is another one that I just love the cover. This was like an exclusive Barnes & Noble cover. And y'all know how I feel about exclusive limited edition, okay? I had to pick it up. I saw it cheaper on Amazon, but it wasn't the cover and I was just like I really want this copper cover why I don't know you guys I just like weird stuff like that I love the way it looks it's called the psychology of money by Morgan Housel and it says timeless lessons on wealth greed and happiness I'm really really excited to look into this because growing up money was always a topic of conversation and it was always something that I never really understood the thought process on how people succeed and fail when it comes to money and I'm really excited to see the psychology in high school psychology was one of my favorite subjects so I am curious to know what Morgan has to say about the psychology of money and I'm looking at this book and girl I'm loving the layout <laughs> the next one is one that everyone talks about another one that was recommended to me by Graham Stephan this is the four hour work week I've I've actually never heard of this book until I started watching Graham Stephan and I'm so excited that I started watching him because I probably would have never seen it. This is like raved about by so many different people and I'm so excited to read this. Um, this is actually next on my book list before Cashflow Quadrant actually. I really want to read this book and I also have another self-help book that I'll show you guys later that I also want to read like simultaneously. I really want to know about this. This is something that I'm really passionate about. This book says how Tim went from $40,000 per year and $80 a week to $40,000 dollars per month and four hours per week that is a dream sentence for me i dream of not having to do physical labor i dream of being able to be my own boss do my own thing have shorter work periods with higher results i am super excited to read this book the next book i saw this in a youtube short i don't even remember i think it was warren buffett actually that was talking about this and he said that it was like one of the best books of investing and then when i bought the book that's actually the quote that's on top of here this is called the intelligent investor by benjamin graham i honestly literally know nothing about investing like actually nothing the only thing that i have right now is a roth ira and even that i'm extremely confused about I I do plan on investing my money in the near future and I just want to do it correctly. I'm just scared of messing up and doing the wrong thing. So I really am taking the time out to pour into books that are going to feed me the knowledge to do this correctly. The next book I have is Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins, another recommendation from Graham Stephan. I actually have a vlog that I recently filmed that I bought this book and also Money Master the Game. I think it's called like Seven Steps to Financial Freedom. I got that book recommended to me by my dad. Dad. Um, however, that one came used and I bought it new, so I returned it. I need to repurchase it. Um, but this book was recommended to me by Graham Stephan. I think it just talks about mental, emotional, physical. Um, it says financial destiny. Obviously, a lot of different important parts of your life. Um, I think a lot of your financial success has to do with your mental wellness as well as your mentality just in general so i am excited to read this book the back says wake up and take control of your life which is something i need to do so i'm excited to read this book next book i have seen a lot of youtubers talk about this you're gonna see that as a running theme i eat sleep breathe youtube you guys okay i have seen this book floating around and i picked it up a minute ago it's called how to win friends and influence people the only book you need to lead you to success by dale carnegie i have a really hard time negotiating and i have a really hard time 
um, selling myself. If you guys are new here, I actually graduated college with a music degree and went straight into insurance sales. I know, complete 180. I was in the process of getting my property and casualty license for the whole summer after college and I ended up getting it around like I think fall time of that year so right after summer I took the test about three different times and once I finally got my license I realized that I did not want to do it not because I felt like I couldn't sell but just it wasn't a passion of mine but I've always wondered if I could be a person to sell things to be that just naturally gifted at being able to sell people on things being able to influence people on things and being a influencer hate that word but being an influencer is something that i really do dream of becoming and just honestly being myself and turning it into a brand turning it into a business i do value that and i do think that it is important to know how to influence the correct people in the right way and i have seen a lot of people talking about this book the next book i bought this when i was in college read like two chapters and then did not read it again I I, it is another classic within like the self-help community of people. It is the seven habits of highly effective people. Clearly, I was not a highly effective person because I didn't even finish the book, girl. It is by Stephen R. Covey. Um, I got it from Target, <laughs> as you can see. I really want to get into this book. This is a self-help book that's right behind one of my books that I need to read first, which I haven't gotten to yet, and I will show you guys that one right now. This book, you guys, Atomic Habits has been haunting me in my sleep, awake, going to work, going to school. Like I have been wanting to read this book ever since I was in school and I literally keep reading like the same two chapters and then not finishing the book, you guys. This is the next one on my list along with the four hour work week for self-improvement and finance. I don't even need to tell you guys what this is about. If you are awake, you probably have heard of Atomic Habits by James Clear. Being able to sustain healthy habits, like everyone talks about this book and for good reason apparently, I wouldn't know because I haven't read it. So I'm really excited to read this next next book i have on here i actually had it recommended to me by Bay Bay hey here on youtube her name's Haley. love her i've been watching her for a minute she was the first person that i watched that i saw her apartment in vegas and was like oh my god i'm gonna have my own apartment one day and now here i am so i really really love her content i've been watching her since she moved into that apartment she's been there for a couple years i really enjoy her content for productivity and just feeling like i want to get my shit together i watch her and then i get my shit together so a couple of months ago she was reading the this book it might have even been in the beginning of 2023 she was reading this book I'm not exactly sure but she was talking about it in a video and it seemed intriguing so I bought it it's called the 5 a.m. club by Robin Sharma I think Robin Sharma is the same person that wrote the monk who sold his Ferrari I bought that from Amazon that was also one that came used so I ended up returning it I do need to repurchase that but it's not at the top of my priority list so for now I just have this one the 5 a.m. club it says own your morning and elevate your life I don't know if I'm ever going to be a person that wakes up at 5 a.m. every single day but I am a person that does not wake up at a decent time for my liking I tend to wake up at like 12 maybe 11 9 a.m. is like doing a lot for me like if I'm waking up at 9 a.m. and I'm not going to work that's something that's like extremely rare for me I want to be a person that just like naturally likes waking up at 7 a.m. and I just really think that Robin Sharma is going to get me there so I'm going to pick this book up and I'm going to read it next book here is called the power of your subconscious mind by Joseph Murphy I actually got this recommended to me by Michaela Wagner hey girl I talk about her a lot on my channel I met her recently when I went to New York if you guys saw that vlog I think that the person in this this book is of Christian mindset. I am Christian myself, um, but I do think that she was saying that whether you are Christian or not, the principles in here will apply. It says on the back that this book is of the same class as Napoleon Hill, which I showed you guys earlier, Think and Grow Rich. Um, Dale Carnegie, who I also have a book of, that's the win and influence people. So basically they're saying that this is in the same vein. So I'm excited to pick this up and see what this is about. Next two books right here were actually recommendations from Steve Harvey of all people, you guys. I was randomly watching a YouTube short or a YouTube video one day and he was talking about these two books that he read before he became famous to motivate himself. Um, and I just thought it was perfect. Anybody that's in a creative field, um, you do have those periods of self-doubt. I've always had them. 
Um, I've always been a creative person, no matter what I was doing, but even before YouTube, I've just always had that type of entrepreneurial creative mindset. And I do think that at times you are your worst enemy. And he was talking about these two books. So this one is The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. And this one is The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. And I want to read these two books simply because Steve Harvey was talking about them. And I just really want to know and it never hurts to be more motivated and think highly of yourself. So I really am excited to read these two books. They also feel like pretty short reads. So I might be able to knock these out like next summer or something like that. The next book, I don't think anybody recommended this to me. This is probably another one that I just saw in Barnes and Noble and was like, I like it. This is called The 10 Times Rule by Grant Cardone. Um, it says that it's a New York Times bestseller. And it says that he also wrote a book called If You're Not First, You're Last, which is something that I probably would want to read. Even just reading that, I'm like, I kind of want to go on Amazon and buy that right now. It's definitely a title that's uh, intriguing to me. It says, if you want to achieve extreme success, you can't operate like everybody else and settle for mediocrity. Amen. Okay. That's a common theme with a lot of these financial books. They definitely tell you to think outside the box. And that is definitely a lonely path. I'm experiencing that right now. A lot of isolation, a lot of just self-reflection, not feeling like you're doing the right thing but these books are like my little comfort blanket in knowing that I am making the right decision, I'm doing the right thing, I'm making the right financial choices, and I'm thinking clearly because when you're doing the opposite of what the majority is doing, it does tend to make you question everything. So I really love reading these types of financial books to keep me on the right path. Next book, my YouTube friend Ada Ozuna was reading this one day on her Instagram, like literally years ago, and I just picked it up because she was talking about it. So this is actually the Gucci Mane Guide to Greatness. What a random book it's by Gucci Mane and Soren Baker um I think he's just talking about his life in this book the first page that I flipped open to it says nobody cares work harder which is like one of my favorite quotes we're getting down to the bare bones you guys this one is also like a viral book that I've seen everywhere it is 101 essays that will change the way you think this is by Brianna Weiss I actually have a couple of books by Brianna Weiss I think it's called the mountain is you which oh I actually have it right here so I did pick it up for you guys this one is called the mountain is you transform self-sabotage into self-mastery this is something that I definitely need to read on a personal level y'all I am definitely a person that self-sabotages in a lot of different ways and in a lot of different areas of my life and I need to get it together so I'm excited to read this book I just heard really good things about this about your mindset about the way you view life um I think they're all like pretty short stories which y'all know I'm living for a short story and by the way you guys I will tell you guys how I like each book I do vlog a lot so whatever book I'm currently reading I'm sure you'll be hearing about it and the last book going out with a bang one of the classics in the self-help genre you are a badass by jen sincero i think it says how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life i don't think i'm a type of person to always doubt myself but i do have those periods of self-doubt where i'm kind of just looking around like what the hell am i doing am i doing anything correctly should i be doing this and um a lot of people have raved about you are a badass so i am excited to read this it also looks like an extremely quick read so this seems like something i could probably read within the week or two but that is it you guys those are all my productivity and finance books that i have as of right now if i do buy any more best belief i will have another haul for you guys i am really getting into the reading era of my life you guys the productivity era the getting my shit together era in 2024 i'm gonna be turning 25 years old which is so insane to me that's like one of the milestone ages after 21 i am actually terrified i just turned 24 so i'm not gonna rush it but just the fact that 2023 is almost over and I'm turning 25 next year, like I feel like I need to just get my shit together. So I'm excited to read all these books and apply them to my daily life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.